everyone and welcome to the review of the qualifying sessions for round test round two of the race Porsche Cup at Watkins Glen. Uh, as you can see here, this is uh, the preparations for Q1. This is new qualifying system being tested out this weekend. Uh, in Q1, the cars will be split up into two groups of 15 cars. Um, Group 1 will consist of the 15 cars that took part in the Valencia test, because I was lazy and <laughs> really didn't <laughs> care to do much other than that. Uh, group 2 then will be the uh, the big unknown ones, you might say. Uh, we really don't know what their performance will be like. But as you can see here, uh, Q1, very nice weather indeed. Brilliant weather for uh, for racing and optimal for setting some very 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 fast lap times. Uh, and fast lap times were indeed being set. Um, they're winning, who you see here. Unfortunately, not one of the fastest in the otherwise very great looking Porsche. He was uh, indeed going to be the slowest, so you might want to say he was they're losing. I don't. Anyway, um, bad joke aside, uh, yeah, that is pretty much what actually happened in the first round of qualifying, AJHD 1000, also not not that bad, he was actually the fastest in Group 1, so he is one of those who can really sit back and enjoy the show, while the rest have to wait to see what these guys might do. This is uh, footage from Group 2 with all the new guys, the big question marks, how will they fare? And the fastest, not just of group 2, but qualifying 1 in general, was race car in the number 32 Porsche, sponsored by Red Bull. Which means, the results of Q1 was like this, race car definitely going on, HHD 1000 just a split second behind, the new guys says uh, Skythan, Bain, Hamlin, 11, 21, BK Glover, and Garagini and Durr winning. Unfortunately, all out. There can only be space for 20 in the race. Unfortunate for them. But then, again, they didn't have to endure this. Look, this is Q2, and it is raining like it has never rained before. Difficult conditions to get down a good lap. Uh, the drivers, however, seem to... Uh, deal with it pretty well actually nothing too big happened here no real uh, big spins or crashes or anything which is uh, what you might say is quite remarkable because it was really very very tricky to keep the car on the road here they did however as I said uh, deal with it quite well uh, you might also see this is uh, well, we know the track is called a nickname, uh, New York's Thunder Road. I think it's safe to say we can tone down the thunder just a slight amount. No? Alright then. Let's continue on with the weather in the first heat of Q2. Uh, race car not able to keep up his pace. Who was instead going to take provisional pole position after Q2 was this guy, Tired Iron, in the yellowish car we see here. Uh, a 155, pretty good considering the uh, circumstances and weather. That was actually sensational. You coming as one of the new guys and immediately being almost on pole. But as I said, that was only heat one. For heat two, the weather had cleared up. The times from Q1 or from, or from heat one. Uh, they're pretty much thrown in the bin right now. They don't really matter because everyone is going to be faster now. And uh, the fastest, well, that was Crash Broke 23 because you can see here, uh, well, it wasn't dry for very long. And it was all a matter of uh, who could get a good lap down as fast as possible. Crash Broke 23 did that better than anyone else and uh, managed to secure pole position for the race. So this is your final qualifying results. Crash Road 23, as I said, on pole position. Ninners does a very good job and takes second place. Very good for the driver who crashed out in Valencia. We'll see you at the race.